Hey, what's up, and welcome to live.besttechie.net, the place where we talk tech, answer your tech questions, of course, everything technology related. I was lucky enough to have logged me in, uh, the company behind the remote control software for your desktop computer, to provide me with a copy of their log me in ignition application for the iPhone. Now, I was a little skeptical at first uh, about the app through the price, the price point. It, it goes for $30 in the app store, which is a bit much, but it is geared towards the business user. I have to stress that because of the fact that it simply allows you to connect and control your, your remote desktop or laptop as long as it's as long as it's on, it's running the log me in software. And we'll get to that in a second. And essentially do do you can do anything that you can do on the computer there from your phone, from your iPhone. It's really, really neat. It's but it's great for like little things. Let's say for example, you're at you're at your you're at your job or you're somewhere on business and you forgot a PowerPoint presentation or you forgot a Word document and you really, really needed this document and it's on your computer in the office or at home. How are you gonna email it to yourself? Sure, you could have someone at your house or your office email it to you if, if they're available, but maybe they're not. So you have this application, Log Me In Ignition, boasts for $30 in the App Store. You have this app, you download it on your iPhone, and it allows you to remotely connect without any configuration, really. All you need is a Log Me In account, and you need to install the Log Me In software on your computer. It works on Mac and Windows. And once you do that, you can remotely connect from your iPhone to your computer and I'm going to show it off really quickly uh, just go over the, and demonstrate how this works so right here if, if uh, Mandy's controlling the camera so she's gonna zoom in you can say you can see I have my iPhone right here and right here is the log me in ignition application icon it looks like a little key a blue key I mean a blue uh, icon with a gold key so I'm gonna click that once I'm there you have to have a log me in account so it'll ask you to log in you can save your password and credentials very simply I have my account, I'm gonna hit log me in. Now what's gonna happen is once, you, once you're logged in, you will be presented with a list of your computers that are running the log me in software. I currently only have one, that's my Mac Pro. So I'm gonna say, yeah, I wanna to connect to my Mac Pro. Now all it's gonna do is quickly connect me because I've already set up that I have this computer and that's one of the ones I wanna to connect to with my account. It'll automatically now connect me. Now the first thing you'll be presented with is a, a screen that shows you uh, remote control hints, like how to scroll, pinch, and zoom, what the different uh, hand finger gestures do, and all that other nice stuff. You can either show it all the time or you can hide it. I'm just going to show it, leave it shown for right now. Once you do that, you can then click proceed. And now I see my computer. Now you can actually see that I see my computer. This is the screen. It looks exactly the same. So if you, if Mandy can scroll back to the iPhone, zoom into the iPhone real quick. Now you'll see that I see the same exact thing that's on my screen. So if I zoom in, you can see that here's the Ustream producer app. And you can see that I am recording this video right there. Now let's say, I don't know, I wanted to check my email real quick or I wanted to send a file in my email. So what you do, is you can quickly scroll, uh, move your mouse over to your email client, which is mail. So I have mail right here. It's just like being at your computer. Now mail will pop up. And here's mail. So let's say I wanted to scroll through my email because I wanted to find a specific one, or I could search. Let's search real quickly. So if I go to here, you have to make sure the mouse icon aligns with where you want to click. So let's say I, I want to do that. Now I'm going to click the keyboard icon and the bottom. And I can type in, I don't know, web air. Uh, I must type web. It's hard to type on an angle. And it will go through and search. I just, it'll go through and search anything that has to do with web air. Yeah, I type web air. In my email. So that's really, really cool. The other thing is you have control over the function keys. So let's say I needed to hit F5 or F1, 2, or 3, whatever. So let's say I wanted to bring up the dashboard, F12, if you want to pull back to the uh, computer. You can see the dashboards up there. So it's very, very simple, and it's very, very easy to do. And you can then hide the, the keyboard. Now you're saying, Jeff, what if I want to right click? You know, I'm on a Mac or a PC, I want to right click. No problem. Log me in Ignition has a function on the key, on the little tray right here, the little uh, menu bar, that you just click, 
And now whenever I click, it'll right click. If you zoom back, you can see the right click. Over there, you can even see it here too on the iPhone. I have now right clicked and I have my extra context menu options. It's that easy. Now if I go back, I'm on regular click to tap again, the screen goes away. Now it also has a built-in zoom and zoom out feature. So that makes it really, really simple to zoom in and out without having to use the, your fingers to pinch or whatnot. Um, but either way works fine. And now let's say you're in the browser. I don't know, you're on, say you're on besttechie.net. So if you go back, if you, all you have to do to scroll is very simple. If you're watching the phone, just use your two fingers to scroll the page. It's that simple. And then you'll get back to the top. That's all you have to do. Two fingers. Look at that. It's so simple. Now, are you on your? Are you on the computer? Or are you on? You're on the computer. Okay. Now, if you go to the computer, I just want to show them that I'm scrolling the page. So I have my two fingers, and you can see I'm scrolling the page with my two fingers, just like I was doing before in the video. It's that easy. Other features and functionality. If you go, if you go back to the iPhone now, uh, the the, the, the application has uh, color quality settings. I recommend using compressed. It seems to work the best on 3G and also on Wi-Fi. Although the other settings are, you can do auto setting, grayscale, low quality, medium quality, or high quality, and then also compressed. Like I said, I find compressed to work the best. It has the resolution. This will adjust the resolution on the monitor itself, on the desktop or, or the laptop. So if I were to change this, it would change um, on the desktop, which would make it easier to see without actually having to zoom in. You can do that. I don't, I'm not gonna do it right now because it messes up the, uh, the windows that I have open. And then you can also configure the network speed and some other nice features here, like you can have it show, uh, show the hints if you want or disable that and unlock the keyboard in place and other things like that. Overall, this Log Me and Ignition app is very, very worthwhile. It's great for little things. It's great for if you have an application on the desktop, you leave home you, or, and you want to you be able to uh, check something really quickly that you don't have the app on your iPhone, it doesn't have an iPhone app, or even if you have a document at home and you just can't, you just can't uh, get that document through other means, this is a great app to do it. Like I said, it's $30, it's a bit much on the price, but it's, again, it's geared towards the business user. I think it's worthwhile. I would probably, if I, if, I, if I could, I would purchase this app. $30 well spent right here on the Logman Edition app. That's all I got for you. This has been live.best taking on. Until next time, we'll see you. And remember, remember, take care of your computers.